Hi, this video is a quick overview about um, Harbor, a compiler that can be used to make Windows applications. So you can see here, this is a demo app that comes with uh, Harbor. It's kind of written in Spanish or Portuguese or something, but um, anyway, it's a full-blown uh, Windows app. Um, and there is kind of a white a report writer that's built into the Harbor compiler too. Um, so yeah, you can see it's just a regular Windows application. Um, so that's what we're going to go over here today. Um, all right, so here you, here's the IDE um, or Integrated Development Environment. Um, I have Visual Studio Code. VS Code for the editor. Uh, you can pick whatever editor you want. Um, I go in under Tools, Preferences, and you can set your editor. Uh, but more or less what it does is um, back in the 80s or 90s, I guess it was, the, there was a programming la language called DBase that was data-oriented. It was interpreted and used a DBF database format. The programs were saved with a PRG extension. Um, each PC needed to have a licensed copy. Then they developed, uh, someone developed Clipper, uh, a product that was developed to compile the PRG programs into a standalone executable. And this could be distributed without a license. Windows came along and Clipper didn't migrate to Windows. So it kind of stayed um, in 16-bit um, mode, more or less, and it kind of got dropped and people quit using it. There was other competing products like Visual Fox Pro on Windows. The open source uh, international community, a bunch of talented programmers developed a compiler, Clipper compiler called Harbor. They added a GUI library and it, they called it Harbor Mini GUI or Harbor HMG. With this software, you could make a console type application or a Windows GUI application. The Harbor compiler takes a PRG source code, turns it into C programming language code, and it's compiled by the C compiler. You can compile it into either 32-bit or 64-bit application. So what we got going here, I'll just... Um, I think I only have the 32-bit application uh, here. So what you do is you just, uh, once you got your source code saved, um, it has kind of a project associated with it. Uh, the project um, could have a form. You could develop forms in kind of a GUI, WYSIWYG kind of format so you can see what you're editing. This is like the project browser. You can see what modules you have or what forms you have or what resources you have, what tables are with the project. Um, and then once you got everything kind of ready to go, uh, and this one has no forms. It's all the, the forms are all built or typed into the source code here. So this is your actual contacts administration this is a uh, this is a contact administration program but written in Spanish more or less um, so if you want to compile it hit the compile button and it's going to take the contact admin.prg this is one of the um, sample programs that come in the source uh, the sample folder that comes with the compiler uh, depending on which compiler you get um, And there we go. It, it turned it into a full-blown executable file. And you can, you know, do your Windows stuff. If you want to edit this one, you can edit this uh, particular record. Cancel. Um, there you go. Um, so where can we get this? Um, let's see. Let's... Search for uh, 
Arbor HMG, there we go. So there's a uh, there's two different flavors of um, Arbor. There's a uh, there's like a HMG version. It's like a branch um, of Arbor. Uh, Arbor by itself is just a compiler, but when you add the library, they call it HMG. Um, and also there's um, Arbor Extended Edition. Harbor Extended Edition is right here. Um, so there's, yeah, like I say, there's two different uh, kind of branches. There's Harbor Extended. Um, you can read all about it here. It's got the downloads. And um, this is like the Harbor Forum where, um, you know, people discuss everything. Here's the download for that. Uh, I downloaded... The 3.4.4. I also got the the Harbor Mini GUI uh, Extended Edition also. Um, so right now I'm just showing you the um, just the basic uh, Harbor HMG. So like I said, they're kind of similar. Um, this one more or less has the built-in, um, it comes with a uh, compiler, the C compiler kind of in with the package, so that's why I kind of went with this one. I think I heard about this, um, oh, probably like nine or ten years ago. Um, it's not like I use this on my work, it's just, uh, just kind of interesting because I used to compile in Clipper and... Uh, DBase way back in the day, and I did some Foxport programming. Um, so this is, um, like I say, just a, a compiler that uh, can take those PRGs, turn them into uh, to an actual executable. I just wanted to kind of give everybody a... There's a lot of people that don't know about this compiler. It was developed by the international community, community and the, a lot of the videos are in Spanish, so they're really hard to to understand. So that's kind of a quick overview. Uh, I might do more detail later on sometime, but have a good day.